going on people? We are Tottenham TV here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham what 4, Leeds United 3. But I've got to say, never in doubt. Yeah, never, sure. never, never Doesn't matter in how late down. we can see those goals first behind, yeah, never in doubt. We are the comeback kings at the moment. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's a shame that we're always having to come back. What, we were never in the lead up until that last goal, weren't we? The yeah. whole game. Rodrigo scored 81st and 83rd minutes. That was yeah. the time we are in the lead. Incredible. We have literally been in the lead for about... Uh, 20 minutes over the last like 10 games of like, ridiculous life. Again, well, we not, haven't one minute. But yeah, yeah, I know, but ninth game in a row, we can see the first goal. It's classic Tottenham you're, uh, today. You'll think you're in for another um, another one of those games where we're sluggish at the start. Um, I mean, to be fair, in the first half, although we were losing 2 1, I thought it was a bit harsh, but then yeah, again, I, we defended shockingly. So what that's, do you expect? That's, that's what it is. It's, it's, the, the, same, it's the same thing every time. Defensive errors. Eric Dyer once again. Uh, was absolutely shocking for, for one of the goals in the first half. Defensive frailty showing through once again. Goalkeeping frailty showing through. I mean, what is going on with this defence? We yeah, yeah. Uh, Somerville put Leeds one up, and then again we fought back into the game. Dyer, yeah, it was a ridiculous goal. Then we looked, we, we fought back into the game. Came with a nice goal from the corner, and it looked like Tottenham were going to go on and maybe get the next goal. I did think we were the better team in that first half. Yeah, and Emerson, you know, he's a parody of himself, isn't he? With that open goal miss from 12 yards. He, he could then think stupid pass. Every pass was going to a lead trail. I was like, yeah. what the hell are you doing? He, he, he was absolutely ridiculous. He had a ridiculous game at uh, Emerson Royal. He, uh, he was a complete parody of himself throughout the whole first half. Leeds then obviously take the lead, in my opinion, against runner play from uh, again, ridiculous defending. A corner corner gets cleared out, then all of a sudden two headers back over the top and they got a volley in on goal. I mean, that is schoolboy error. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I would say we were on the top of that stage, but after they scored, yeah. we, we couldn't get back into the game. But look, we got a goal, we, we, we got a goal, we got a goal right beginning of the second half. Ben Davis obviously good work from Kulisewski again. He pulls back to Ben's goal, his shot is blocked, pulls to Davis bundles in but in that period we get the second we get a 2-2 50 on the 50th minute of thinking okay we got what, 40 minutes to go and win this game but it was all leads up yeah. until up until like that's what i was saying minute. right as soon as like we scored or as like in the second half you expected us to push the issue but actually leads were the one on top yeah leads were the ones on top but we seemed completely tired we seemed tired we seemed like we had no energy we were leads which were taking pass 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 and we had no answer to it um, it was really frustrating to watch actually Hoybier was making some ridiculous um passes back to Mauricio, giving away corners and things like that he looked like he was completely dead on his feet um but uh, but what's his name conte's answer to that was to bring on uh, and Sanchez, Sanchez Matt and, to bring, and to bring on Basuma. And to be fair Matt to Conte, Conte yeah. and Matt Doherty. And to be fair to Conte, those on the subs a lot of people would have made, but they did add, they did give us energy. I think, I think Sanchez made a difference today. He was yeah. actually really solid defensively. He did. Really solid and he was pushing the runs up the field. But today belongs to Dejan Kulisevsky, you're the, both the Avengers boys out in Turin, you know what I mean? Rodrigo Bentancor and Dejan Kulisevsky, because I thought both of them, especially Dejan Kulisevsky, was absolutely immense. He was pretty, I thought in the first half he was fantastic. He was really unfortunate that we didn't take advantage of some really good pieces of skill that he that he made for himself in that first half. And three times he was burning the wing for the, the uh, fullback and he wasn't... They didn't know how to deal with it. Yeah, but we didn't take advantage of it. Yeah. Then second half, he was starting to get really dangerous there. It's actually, to be fair, what I would say is he made, made the second goal, and then he went really quiet for like 20 minutes yeah. up until we made those subs. Then when, he, when we made those subs, he became alive again. He was starting to get on the ball again, and um, obviously the, his assist for the winner was absolutely oh, sensational. sensational. Absolutely sensational. So that, that assist alone deserves man of the match. Yeah, I thought honest. it was unbelievable. The way he breezed past the, the, the Under that pressure in like that, that time of the game. Keep calm, breezes past the wing back and doesn't go for goal, which a lot of players would have done in that position. Lays the match of entry for, he slots in the winner, and it was a fantastic moment. And I thought, we, look, again, this team, whatever you want to say about it, we show character, we show fight, we go till the end. And, uh, you know, to go 3-2 down on 76 minutes, which, by the way, it looked like a foul on Ventacle to me. He not makes it, he not makes it, he needs to play in the centre of the park. And it looks like he, he gets fouled. The referee says play on and obviously they go and score. But if it wasn't a foul, and if we go back and look at it on reflection, it wasn't a foul. Then it's a mistake. Then it's a mistake, but what yeah. way to respond to it? With two yeah, goals and exactly. exactly. Maybe he felt that responsibility in that moment because obviously he started to push forward after that. We needed a response. Um, and to be fair, to, as I was saying, to go down 3-2 uh, on after 76 minutes and to turn that around to win 4-3 shows a lot of character to not lay your head drop and to keep going. And we did that and we've shown the ability to do that many, many times this season. And um, I thought that was a fantastic response to going 3-2 down. 
And I thought we played at the time, to be fair, we played some really good football going forward when we got the opportunity. Yeah, it was just it's just the frailties at the back. That's what it is. Defensively, we're all over the shop at the moment. Another three goals conceded. That's 21 goals now we've conceded this season in 15 games. That's, that's the clear problem to Tottenham right now. It's you, the defence. You don't associate 21 goals against in 15 games with the Conte side. That is not a Conte side, but and maybe you know, a Tottenham side. Yeah, but, it's, <laughs> but you've got to think about it as well. It's really in the last, uh, that's uh, nine games in a row we've conceded. Um, We've gone, we've gone one nil behind, and you, it's, it's a sixth. Well, sixth game in a row. You've got to say domestically, we can see at least two goals. So before that, our defence was probably like we. Our defence wasn't this bad. It's really dropped off a cliff over yeah, the last few the, weeks. Yeah, maybe the defence got Conte, but they're all forgetting like reverting back to type at the moment. Yeah, the mo last few games has been all over shop, and our and our attack has tried to bail us out. It has at times, um, and well, it, it definitely did today. But again. But again, it's very similar to, to a lot of other games we've been playing this today. But like against the likes of Bournemouth and again against Marseille and other teams, we were able to get it back. Yeah. But against the fair sides, we're just not able to. We're not good enough to do that. And we've got to learn our lesson. Look, we've got a break now to the World Cup. We can, the players not going, oh, can so rest. Happy can, we got a break now. Yeah, I'm we so needed happy. it. The players were on their feet today. You saw that. Absolutely. And you, know, you, you look, you look at players like uh, Pierre, Pierre Mohoibier. Uh, you look at players like Harry Kane, they've got a World Cup to go to. Yeah. Boy, Pierre was out on his legs today. I yeah, mean, he was. He was knackered, absolutely yeah, knackered. Yeah, a one-week break. Huh? Did they get a one-week oh, break? Oh, a whole one-week break. But then he's like the intense uh, rigours of World Cup football, you know what I yeah. mean? It's like, how are these players going to handle it and then come back to the Premier League a week after the World Cup? have to cross that bridge when we come to it. I guess there's nothing we do about it now. They're off to the World Cup and hopefully they uh, come back and that they can obviously do good for us. I just really back. hope all the Spurs players just go out as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. I really hope. Because, like, it's just not sustainable, like, to keep up this fitness level throughout the season with all this football. It's just crazy. Yeah, it's absolutely madness. I completely agree. So, we'll have to see what happens after the World Cup. But look, brilliant way to end this period after it was a really tricky. Never in doubt, guys. Come on. You saw we were struggling these last few weeks and we've done really well to come out with a win today. Puts us in a pretty decent position going into the World Cup. We're, look, whatever happens today, we're, we're definitely in the top four. Uh, we're three points behind City going into the World Cup. So, Unbelievable. That, that really is, an, is incredible, but it's, that's not a bad position to be in. So uh, hopefully in January we make some acquisitions. The players obviously come back and we have more, more energy and Conte can um, you know, get into them a bit more. So there's reasons to be positive. But definitely, uh, you know, the defence is a clear, a clear, clear issue that needs sorting out. And um, we, know we can't go on defending like we have been in the last few games because it just simply isn't good enough. But thankfully, this period is now over. And look, 15, 29 points in 15 games, it's not bad. Yeah, um, and you know, you said out that tweet, better record at the beginning from uh, Pep Guardiola and, uh, and Klopp as well. Uh, so you've got to give him props for that. And I just want to give one more prop for Yves Basuma as well because I thought he was brilliant when he came on. Uh, relieving the pressure in the midfield and really starting attacks and uh, and stopping and putting out fires in the middle of the park. But let's just get a quick word from Grandpa just before we go. Grandpa, what was your assessment of that? Oh well, you know we have to lose a goal before we get our passion and get our precision. Yeah, yeah, it's three times that happened. You know, it's just amazing. But it was it was just it's so exciting. Um, but they were playing well and we were playing bad, badly in many areas. And, you know, from, our defence was appalling. Dire, dire was terrible. Dire was dire. Dire was dire. Um, Emerson was dire. He's your favourite as well. <laughs> he was my favourite. Not anymore. <laughs> I think no. you're starting to come yeah, over yeah, to us yeah, now. Yeah, starting yeah. to come over to us with Emerson Royale. Yeah, yeah, but how good was Steve and Kulisevsky today? Oh, he was brilliant. He was brilliant. Two games running now. He's, he's come on and he's, he's really made the game. Mm. All right, so yeah. we sign off uh, to the World Cup now. We've got a long okay. break now until yeah. the next Spurs game. Yeah. But we sign off with a 4-3 win. And still in the top four in the next round of the Champions League. Uh, how positive is it going into the I, latter stage of the season now? I think it's really positive. I think we're in a good place. Providing we get all our injuries back after uh, after the World Cup, they all come back without injury. Uh, I think we have a very good chance of uh, at least staying in the top four, if not getting to the top of the top four. Yeah. <laughs> top uh, of the top or, four, all right. Yeah, you heard it here first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Winning the league now. <laughs> you heard it here. Right. See what a half-late winner can do to us. <laughs> well, I don't mind. We can win the championship instead. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you yeah, all very yeah, soon. Yeah. Like, come subscribe, on, and comment. And as always, come, come on, come on.